This is Twit. Intel, <laughs> happy happy 40th birthday to the x86 processor. Uh, Mary Jo, you said that uh, buried in that wonderful announcement that Intel made is a, is a little uh, unhappy secret for Microsoft. Tell us about that. Yeah, this was... This was so interesting because I saw the headline on that Intel post and I'm like, oh yeah, they're just celebrating the birthday of 8086, you know. And then a, re a reader or listener of Paul's and mine sent, sent to us on Twitter said, look at the last paragraph of that blog post. And at the very end is a very direct threat, um, legal threat about people who are, quote, trying to emulate Intel's proprietary x86 ISA without Intel's authorization. And I'm like, wait, I think they're talking about Qualcomm and Microsoft oh, here. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. They don't name them, right? They don't say Which is Microsoft, amazing. Qualcomm. <laughs> how, how, how passive aggressive is that? They okay, also so, suggest that they found out about this from some reports. You know, know, there are reports weird. that other companies are doing this thing. No, no, there have been product announcements. I know. By the way, so, made by your biggest partner. I know. So, so it's as soon crazy. as I saw the ending of this, I pinged Intel that night, and I'm. I said, um, "Is this a reference to Microsoft and Qualcomm?" And they didn't. Again, came back and would not say that, but they said, "You know, we respect intellectual property rights of others, and we expect them to do the same." Um, so <laughs> then I pinged Microsoft <laughs> and Qualcomm, <laughs> sure. and I'm like, "Hey guys, do you think this is about you? Because it sure looks like it is." And mm -hmm. Neither Microsoft nor Qualcomm seemed bothered by this in the least. They both came out with very similar statements saying, you know what, we recently announced we've got Asus and HP and Lenovo. They're building these always connected PCs. They're going to be out this year. And um, yeah. <laughs> well, so, I mean, this can only be one of two things, right? Um, yeah. Either A, they're literally going to try to use legal means to prevent this from happening, which would be amazing. Or B, they're angling for licensing fees, which they couldn't care less if Microsoft and or Qualcomm pays for them, but they're going to be paid one way or the other. Um, okay, so so my, my thought on that, the li licensing fee thing, Microsoft always talks up um, how much they play ball when it comes to licensing patents and have cross-licensing um, agreements in place with all the big players. Of course, Intel is among them, right? And I, that's why I'm like, okay, what part of this hasn't Microsoft licensed or hasn't Qualcomm licensed that Intel thinks they have, uh, a, have a leg to stand the, on? Right, right. Well, I think the issue here is that technically Microsoft has nothing to do with this Intel emulation stuff. That's coming from Qualcomm. Like, in other words, Microsoft is taking advantage of it to, you know, but I don't believe Microsoft created it. Um, so I could be wrong. That's, I guess. That, I, I, that, well, I you know it was what? That's an interesting question. That's an interesting question because um, if you think about how they've talked about this, right? They've mm -hmm. talked, I thought they kind of talked about it, they being Microsoft in this case, as more of a software thing, right? Yep. Like they're going to build a, a layer, I think, on top of Windows on ARM that does uh, x86 emulation. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look, she has a picture. Um, yeah. Well, you're the one who found <laughs> let's, that, let's picture, look at that picture, actually. <laughs> Uh, that, that was from no, 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 no. The, the picture yeah, 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 in my blog yeah. post is from a talk yeah. that Microsoft published right. at the time of Build, right? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it shows a, a, a diagram and it shows um, hardware, of course, at the bottom, CPU graphics, networking, then the Windows kernel. And then on top of that is the whole emulated process thing that's on top of the operating system, right? All right, this is amazing. It literally says emulated using custom emulator from Microsoft. Good use of yeah. the word emulation twice in the same sentence, by the way. <laughs> um, I, I, there are these times, they don't happen that frequently, when two of the biggest companies in tech will square off against each other. We, we, we got it with Samsung versus Apple in court. It was beautiful. Mm. Um, usually you have to have like a government or state sponsor kind of intervention, like the antitrust stuff against Microsoft or Intel, actually, or mm. Google or Apple, um, <laughs> so, you know, to get this kind of level of excitement. But the notion yeah. of like Microsoft slash Qualcomm and Intel, like just squaring off is, I know, just makes this whole job worthwhile. <laughs> you know? Oh man. So it, I thought um, 
Peter Bright on Ars Technica had an interesting take on this whole thing. So he he mm -hmm. he also thought like, of course, Intel and Microsoft have a patent licensing agreement, right? Like they of course sure. do around x86. But then he started talking in his article about this about um, extensions that Intel's made to x86. And I don't know what these mean. You may TSX, SGX, MPE. Uh, and he he said in his article that. Um, his, his theory is that's what Intel is going to try to get them on, is if they use any of these extensions in building the emulation capability. Interesting. Um, hmm. So I, I think that's an interesting theory because otherwise you're like, of course, of course, Microsoft has licensed the, the technology around x86, right? Um, yeah, so this goes back but, to like MMX. Uh, th right. That's how far this goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, and so that geez. could be the case, right? I guess. I mean, I, 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 at the end of the day, what I think this is really about is, well, it's the two things. I, either they literally are trying to prevent it, which would surprise me, but because when that fails, that's a, a yeah. death blow to Intel right there. But the the more likely scenario is them just trying to be paid for it. In other words, well, yeah. if you're going to use our stuff, fine, but we're going to get a chunk of this, and this will help offset the lost revenues from the x86 chips they're not selling to PC makers mm -hmm. because they're going with Qualcomm and those machines, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like, you know, Microsoft uh, putting their apps on another mobile platform. It's like, well, okay, so we're not going to, we're not selling mm -hmm. the devices ourselves. Let's see if we can at least make the best of the situation and get some yeah. money some other way. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I mean, like you said, Intel, knew Microsoft was going to do this with ARM. I mean, it, this oh, is not yeah. a secret. <laughs> they, yeah. I mean, um, look, if they didn't know about it until December when Microsoft announced it publicly, yeah. they certainly yeah. knew about it in December when Microsoft announced right. it publicly. Yeah. You know? Um, so it, it was just a curious way to announce uh, that, hey, guys, we're going to, we're, we're, Rattling the savers, and we're going to see you. You know, it's also it was also an awesome West Coast passive aggressive way to do it. It kind of was, you know? yeah. <laughs> That's we're way gonna, we do it. Our mother taught us, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, uh, you know, keep your mouth shut. <laughs>